here's where we left off on the septic system issues you can see I've got it dug up pretty much all the way out with the exception of where it goes under the tree I've basically since made the decision that instead of trying to leave that piece in place I think that it should come out and then there you go all the way back to the tank so I've got a guy coming out today to basically come in go underneath the cabin go up through that line right there underneath the cabin the toilet sits eight feet on the inside of that wall you can see how cracked this is right here if we try to cut that off right there it's going to fall apart so probably our best move is to cut it off back here into the next section that goes in there and hope that we can keep that all together but more on that later <clears throat> here's where the Y comes in for the kitchen I've purchased a Y and a double clean out put the clean out right there obviously the Y's got to go in there one of the challenges is going to be is that is that right now running perfectly to line up that PVC Y if not that's going to be fun but yeah so the septic system saga continues I've got a bunch of solid core schedule 40 uh, PVC line and uh, laying there <coughs> and uh, i've got the fittings to go with it so we'll see how how it goes so he's supposed to be out here today at two o'clock more later backfilled in where the tank had been we had dug down to the septic tank we had uh, the line here we replaced the line from the septic all the way out to the building we've got all that replaced with PVC all that uh, clay drain tiles been replaced we've kind of pushed this back in for now with a rough grade well, it's supposed to rain next week. We'll let that rain in. Come up to here. We've got a quarter inch fall per lineal foot all the way out to the tank. We've measured this and we built it from that end all the way up to here. So there's your quarter inch fall per lineal foot. And then we left it. There's what has to be done yet. It looks to me like you're going to have uh, a steeper fall than a quarter inch per lineal foot. But there's nothing wrong with having uh, a nice sharp fall coming out of uh, the cabin for the septic or for the toilet and the shower and all that. And then there's your gray water coming out of your sink, which is there's your kitchen and the window there. Uh, so that's your kitchen sink coming in here. It's going to come in and Y in. To there so we got a lot done so here's where we ended up the day and the weekend so we've got the uh, kitchen sink cut off and transitioned over with a boot we've cut off that 
we're going to have some guys come in and bust up the floor or cut the floor and replace all that and turn it into PVC. Here we go. Laura's inside the bathroom right now taking a shower. There's so much is coming out with a shower. Not that much. And this all sand, that's just going to go nowhere fast. Same thing here. Here's our kitchen sink. You know, there's the kitchen. The sink's right underneath the window. It just comes out there. So for now, we're functional as far as, <clears throat> as, far as using the shower, as far as using the kitchen sink. So that's what we're down to. And I didn't want to go any further than that because you got the plumbers and those guys having to do their thing there. This will just come in and Y into that. It's just cut it there because they've got to be able to tunnel out that and have room to work. So don't want to pinch them. So before we wrap up this septic system series, let me give you a final walk around and just kind of show you where we're at. So let's start out here by the tank. Got this all backfilled. It's rained a few times, which has helped, but now we're just gonna let that winter over. We came in again and I brought in several loads of sand. You know, we have a sand pit on the property, so I went with my tractor with the bucket and brought in, I don't know, five or six different loads of sand to fill things in good so that uh, as winter comes, it'll really help, you know, settle everything in. Laura painted the vent stack, so it really kind of disappears now against the wall of the cabin. That's a great improvement for sure. Again, lots of sand brought in, but really the grade's not looking too bad right now. Um, we'll have lots of yard work to do in the spring, but for now, pretty happy with it. Let's go inside and I'll show you what they did. So we're in the bathroom now. It's a little dark, but you should be able to see. So they completely replaced that. You can see there's a little vent right there with a filter on it. And that's venting the sink and the shower. Before, there was no vent. The shower simply came down that, dumped into that, and there was no trap for the shower. That, that came straight down and went into that clay tile and it ran over there and wide, made a Y right there, tied into the clay tile and out it went. The clay tile came down here into the toilet. Now, last summer we had the toilet replaced because the old one basically fell off the wall. That's a long story, but moving on. So that toilet got replaced last year and was changed over to PVC and then transitioned into that clay tile. So they obviously came in, saw cut the floor, took all the concrete out, all of the clay tile out, and put new PVC in, and then added sand in there, and then concreted it back. So they did a really nice job, if you ask me. So I'm back out here by the septic tank because from here, what you've got out here is the drain field. Well, I've already taken quite a few trees out of here, but all that brush right there, a lot has to come out of here so that we can open this up. And if you watched... <laughs> any of this you know this tree's been one of the big culprits and 
that has to come down. It ain't gonna, ain't gonna hurt us between now and next summer, but probably in the spring that's gonna come down, get cut up and hauled out of here so that we don't have that causing any more grief into the drain field. So that'll be all coming in the future. Same thing with dealing with the rest of this brush and these trees. I'll deal with that in the spring. For right now, I think that we've done enough. But there you go. That's how we ended up. Appreciate you tagging along on this project. And if you do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And check out some of our other projects and videos. Certainly uh, appreciate to have you along. So thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.